In today's video, I will be showing you how to translate images that has Chinese characters on it using Google Translate. Okay, here am I on 1688 app. Okay, there are cases whereby you would want to um, use your high dictionary to translate certain um, functions on 1688 and um, on 1688 app and you are unable to translate that. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Google Translate effectively to translate either images or translate all these uh, areas you are unable to translate on 1688 app. Okay. In case you're just coming across my channel for the first time, I'm Lawrence Ifani by name. I do entrepreneurship videos on how to make money online as it regards to e-commerce, affiliate marketing, freelancing with digital skills. So if you're interested in getting this kind of content, please consider subscribing this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below this video. Turn on the notification bell so you always get notified each time I drop a new video. Okay, like I rightly said, how to translate images using Google Translate. I'll be using this um, 1688 app interface. Now, the first thing you need to do, if there are areas that you are unable to translate using High Dictionary. Let's say you, you want to translate this page, okay? Or you don't have High Dictionary or you're using iPhone. Okay, so the only thing you need to do here is to screenshot this particular page. Just get a screenshot of it like I'm going to do right away. Just get a screenshot of it. You can see I've taken a screenshot of this, so I'm going to save it. Then the next thing you need to do is to open up your uh, Google Translate, okay, like I'm going to do now. You open up your Google Translate. As you open it up, look at where you have camera. You can see where you have camera. You now click on it. Okay. You just need to click on it. I'm going to explore every feature that it has. Okay. Now on the camera um, page now, I'll be showing you here you have at the top here you have a switch of language okay you can switch between languages you have to make sure that the trans the um, language you are targeting will be on the left side okay like this Chinese either is in the left side now and the language you want to translate to will be uh, at the right side like English is at the right side if English is let's say you click on the arrow in between now if it is this way it will not work okay it won't work because they are translating from chinese to english so if you are translating from chinese to english you make sure that chinese is at the left side and english is at the right side okay so that's one then the next thing is uh, you know we have already screenshotted um the this thing we want to translate now i want to show you other features here you have instant now this instant has to do with if you have a picture of what you want to translate okay if you have a picture like you're seeing in the background there's a picture in the background which you can i uh, can um, tap to translate okay what this does is if you place it close to the uh, target language it's going to start the translation automatically like you can see now so it will start the translation automatically. You can see most of the tests, Chinese tests are being translated now. So it will just focus on it and start translation, you can see. So that's what that does. Now, if it's not giving you what you want, depending. Okay, so this one is for physical, um, for live pictures. Okay, then the second one is scan. You need to scan it. The second one is scan. You can see where you have scan here you can see where you have scan okay is for you to scan the language if you select it if you select it it's going to um, bring out the scan option so if you want to scan this now to translate it you just need to uh, click where you have this small circle as you have selected the scan option okay so you just need to tap on it to now scan the language 
you can see so as it does that you now need to move your finger over the selected languages like this so you do now do the translation you can see so any of them you move over is going to do the translation you can see any of them you move over is going to do the translation so that's for the scan feature then the last one is the image feature okay the image feature which has which the title here is import so you need to, what you need to do here is to import the picture or the image you just screenshotted okay now mind you that the image is not clear maybe you are in a dark area you can as well um you can as well turn on the the flash your flashlight you can turn on your flashlight by clicking on uh, the top here you can see where you have the flash um, icon so if you tap on it it's going to turn it on you can see it's on now so the image is clearer okay so this is how you use uh, the camera option on Google translate I'm going to turn it off then we'll go over to the image we just uh, screenshotted. So what you need to do is to click where you have import to import the image. I'll click on. So it's going to load like so. Then you're going to see the last uh, image you just screenshotted. You tap on it like you're seeing here now. It's the first one. Okay, so you tap on it. It's now going to load it into that page you can see so it's going to scan it between so everything that is in chinese character will be highlighted like you see so what you need to do is to move your finger over it like i've done now you see factory cargo i do the second one find factory the third one find new products the third one should be location you see the origin you see okay so the fourth one is find store so this is how you um use the image function in google translate to translate chinese languages okay so if you found value from this video please don't forget to hit on the like button also share this video okay with your friends in case you're just coming across my channel for the first time please don't forget to click on the red subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you always get notified each time i drop a new video thank you for watching come back for more videos bye